Oh yeah, it's about the Hollywood pimp. Oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> but you got to have vision. I like that shit at the end where he just moves his hands and lets you know that you got to have vision. <laughs> shit, that shit is stupid. All right, all right, back to it. But yo, I mean, have you y'all heard of the Hollywood madam Heidi Fleiss, right? But now we got this thing called the Hollywood pimp. Hollywood P gets prison, P for prison, for running hooker ring that cater to actors and producers. Now they've long had this shit, but I'm going to tell it, bar. I'm going to tell it. A movie producer was sentenced to five years. A movie producer? Five years? In prison this past Thursday for operating a sprawling prostitution ring that catered to the wealthy and powerful in Hollywood. Dylan Jordan, 50, raked in some $1.4 million from the international prostitution business, which he ran from 2010 until 2017. Now that's a long damn time. <laughs> I wonder what the statute of limitations were. Anyway, and whose whose clients produced, it, produced, excuse me, and whose clients included producers, gamblers, and actors, federal prosecutors said. Jordan laundered the money through two film production companies that eventually backed moderately successful projects, including 2018's The Kindergarten Teacher with Maggie Gyllenhaal and the kid with Ethan Hawke in 2019. What? So, you was pimping, right? Doing your thing. And you were able to launder your money through two film projects? Bro, you must have told your, somebody, yeah, you must have told some confidant your business. And this all got out, bro. This all got out. Yeah, and that's what I say, man. Never tell a bitch all your business, because one day she might become an eyewitness. <laughs> you 40 wasn't wrong about that shit. So here you go. Several well-known producers that Jordan worked with doubled his clients of his sex-selling business, including one who invested in a quarter of a million in his movie-making companies, prosecutors wrote in court filing. Prosecutors in their sentencing submission cited statements from several of Jordan's victims, victims, who described being piled with drugs or applied with drugs and alcohol and forced into sex work by the Hollywood pimp. This dude, <laughs> what's he trying to, what, the, what is, uh, what is uh, Balmoral, whatever the fuck he got on his head, man? What is he trying to, in, in, his, in his framed glasses, what he trying to do? Look like Samuel L. Jackson? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, nice tie, though. He has the uh, skull and bones in the tie. <laughs> but is he a part of the skull and bones? <laughs> I don't know. Dylan Jordan was sentenced to five years in prison for running an international prostitution ring. Now, one woman told investigators she met Jordan in Las Vegas when she was 18 years old and paraded her and other women around a poker tournament after giving her drugs and alcohol. Bro, bro, why didn't you? I don't know if this is how Dylan Jordan got started, you know, but. If he already had money in the bank, right? Why couldn't he have just got his ass a license? You know, um, got, you know, uh, a business within the county, you know, where the bunny ranches are. Same state, right? And, you know, did it for good. Did it on the legal part of it. And, bruh, you know what? It would have been a legal laundering of the money. But then again, it is interstate commerce, so it may be watch buffet. You never know. <laughs> she was then led to a hotel room where she had sex with an Asian man who did not speak English and was paid $3,000 for the encounter. 
Oh, man. Later that night, Jordan brought her to a party where he had her undressed and walked her around on a leash, crawling on her hands and knees, prosecutors wrote. Oh, so she was a doggos. Oh. Mm. No steady big fellow. The defendant made comments about how young victim one was. Look, she is barely 18 and pointing to her bedazzled Hello Kitty phone case, which she was carrying, they added. Now that is some weird shit. I don't see how people get into the jailbait thing. Oh, hell no. That's not how I do, bro. Look, I don't mean to tell my age, but shit, I'm, I'm, I'm up there. I'm a grown ass man. I like them from 35 to 45, but you know, I'm in the philosophy. So, you know, for the most part, shit, almost all the parts, I stay away from that. You know, there's more out of life that you can get as a man going his own way than to be funking around with this shit. But if you're doing it right, and if you're doing it, you know, if you're going to go and enlist the services of a pro, you know, like this, make sure that there's legal controls. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I did put out a poll in the community tab. And yeah, you know, if you are subscribed and you got me on all, check out your damn feed on YouTube. I got the pet. I got a poll up now. I could pull it up in here and do it in the chat while I'm walking and while I'm doing the show. But I don't feel like doing it. I'm in the show. I'm reading this damn article. Get off my back. Shit. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I do what I want. Do what I want. Back to the story, though. At the party, Jordan introduced her to an unidentified actor who took her to his home in California where, over the course of a number of days, he made her have sex with him and another woman. I remember feeling scared out of my mind as my eyes rattled back and forth in my head from the drugs you had quite literally pushed into my mouth, the victim wrote in a statement cited by prosecutors. She goes on to say, You separated me from reality, and that made me question my self-worth, and long after this was all over, I still feel the shame and regret and self-doubt, she added. Oh my gosh, wow. Jordan also organized at least 11 sex parties between 2011 and 2014 in the United States and abroad, supplying prostitutes to a client for the encounters, prosecutors said. In his own submission, Jordan's attorneys blamed his troubled upbringing. Oh, boy. Got to pull that one out. Oh, shit. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. He blamed his troubled upbringing that exposed him to sex and strip clubs at a young age for his criminal conduct, which isn't wrong because that usually does happen with pimps. And, um, you know, let me take a quick aside, a brief little side road. When I used to read the story by Iceberg Slim called Pimp, the story of my life, and this was long before the game, long before Rolo Tomasi or a motherfucking um Rouge V ever came out long before all of that shit the pimp story of my life iceberg slam right in the book this was how the character in the story iceberg was brought to this this brutal nasty underworld so what i'm trying to tell you here as a brother of the philosophy is a man that taken the 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 crimson capsule, you know, the one that took the pill of truth, that this type of thing happens to not only women, not only, you know, those that are being trafficked and the little girls. And that's not cool either, man. I mean, I have a daughter, you know, that 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 woman was somebody's daughter. I get it, you know. And 18, eh, you just crossed the threshold into adulthood legally. But then again, your mind kind of ain't right. And I do understand that the brain fully forms and develops at around at an average of 25. So this wasn't right, you know. And um, back to the story, though. He pled guilty. He pleaded guilty in September for to conspiracy to violate the Man Act which criminalizes the transportation of any woman 
or girl for the purpose of prostitution. And this is crazy because it's called the Man Act. Like, what? I take issue to that. I take issue to that. Back to the story. Judge John Cronin handed down the sentence Thursday, telling Jordan he would have imposed a harsher sentence. <laughs> Excuse me. He would have imposed a harsher sentence had he been allowed to. Excuse me here. Got a cough. Sorry about that, fellas, listeners. You know, I'm back. Back to the story, though. For years, the defendant operated and profited from an extensive prostitution business that catered to wealthy men and was predicated on the exploitation of young women, U.S. Attorney Damian Williams said in a statement after Thursday. But wait a minute, um, uh, 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 Damian Williams. Hold up. What about the exploitation of the men in there? You know? Um, what about, you know, you know, kind of making this language gender neutral, right? We all are egalitarians, equal protection under the law and all that, I see. What you should have said, motherfuckers, is for years, the defendant operated and profited from an extensive prostitution business that catered to wealthy men and women or wealthy adults or wealthy people, and was predicated on the exploitation of young people. You know, you could have just went there. You know what I'm saying? Times are a-changing, brother. But you got to have vision. See what I'm saying? You got to have vision. You know? <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. Let me hop on back on into these chats and see what's up. 